Hey, this is E. Come back to you with another part of the Ten Dollar House video series. Um, didn't really do a whole lot. There's not a lot I can do the, um, under the house. Under the house is still real muddy, so I can't li try to lift it up. And then I had a yard work to do. I got this lot and then two other lots to take care of. I used this two inch because the probe are only three inches wide so if I use something wider they weren't even so you would have a gap in the middle where it wouldn't scrape down plus I was just looking for something to do I couldn't get under the house and try to raise it up so I started working on this floor I was gonna try to use it as a somewhere to work out I can actually jump rope in this my dad's house is real low so the jump rope hits the roof but uh Got most of it cleaned out pretty good. Got all the big stuff out to the to the side of the street, all the stuff that I'm getting thrown away. So you can see you got all the trash picked up, I actually just got picked up a few minutes ago. I said I hadn't really done that much. You saw the, got this floor all cleaned out. I was gonna try to, it's all sanded smooth, but it, since it's pine, I'm not going to really um, probably end up putting tile on top of it or something else. Linoleum depends. Like I said, uh, if I hadn't bought this house for $10, I wouldn't be able to buy a house. But uh got all this carpet up in here. Got half of it thrown away. Um, they could have picked it up, but he said he might come back Tuesday, so I'm put this carpet out there, see if it takes it. Started taking this one up. I'm gonna cut it up, fold it up. I guess they put this wall in later, and uh, the carpet goes under the wall. So I need to cut it to get it out, or at least out to the wall. And uh, I hadn't been back here in a while, but last time I checked, it was still really. Really wet under here. Yeah, it's still super soft. Yeah, wouldn't do any good to try to get under there and jack it up more. It's just going to sink into the ground. But, uh, yeah, I got all those appliances out. I got all the furniture out. I'm going to see if this refrigerator works. This old refrigerator I got out. Huge TV, old TV. I got some of this stuff picked up. So the yard's looking great. Finally got it all cleaned out. I'll start working on getting those cactuses out of here. Yeah, it's gonna be good around the dogs. So like I said, I had a yard work to to get done, and I just mowed this like four days ago. Three or four days ago, and it's already needing to be mowed again. But it hasn't rained anymore, so hopefully, next few days I can get under there and start working on the foundation. Because, I, like I said, I don't have any money to get anything right now. Started cutting the yard on Wednesday and uh, wanted to get this fence panels that have been here for about a month, middle of the yard. And uh, basically I cut back on my ADHD meds and it kind of took over, got me distracted doing other stuff. So I started working on this fence panels, taking them apart so I could, instead of trying to move the whole thing, so they're pretty heavy. Um, and then the next day, started working on the kennels. 
took one apart and then separated two other ones to make two candles instead of one and then I made a short videos these short videos so I didn't really do it but I can't really do much at the house like I said here's some of the stuff I made with uh, those old fence packets reclaim fence pickets made this bench a few years ago like three years ago with those and then this is uh, some shelves for little knickknacks I made or if you want anything made out of wood reclaimed wood um, slabs um, epoxy stuff I can make just about anything I can make cutting boards anything hit me up here I am pulling up the key post that the old candle that I told you I made smaller it's the stuff I got distracted doing Friday night and I'm still working on this yard I appreciate y'all watching liking subscribing commenting hope y'all have a good one appreciate y'all